Thanks for making time and welcome to Checkpoint. I'm Jesse Rogers. Our sign language interpreter tonight is Meresha Owiti. Let's get you informed. Now, doctors in the country have postponed the strike that was supposed to start on Sunday night, March 10th. This is after key government health stakeholders invited them for a meeting to deliberate on the strike notice issued last week. On Monday last week, doctors, through their union KMPDU, issued a seven-day nationwide strike notice that the government has till Sunday, March 10th, to act upon their grievances. If not, all doctors in the country will down their tools. Among their demands is promotions, employment of more doctors, and study leaves. Our reporter, Husna Mohammed with the details. The Kenya Medical Practitioners Pharmacist Dentist Union, KMPDU, has postponed the nationwide strike which was to officially commence on the night of Sunday, March 10th to Wednesday, March 13th. This is after key health stakeholders in the health sector called a meeting expected to be held on Monday 10th to listen to the doctor's grievances. Last week, the doctors gave a one-week strike notice that if their conditions are not met by the end of the week, then they will down their tools. Healthcare workers, they have been on contract and the contracts keep on changing, the salaries keep on dropping. We don't know where the money keeps on going. We will not sit back and watch the healthcare of this nation go down due to incompetence, incompetencies of a few people. But as a union has came PDU, we are going to give a strike notice starting today, a seven-day strike notice that will culminate in a shutdown from Sunday midnight. The doctors' union came PDU through the general secretary of the union, Deb Giatella, say that if the meeting does not issue tangible solutions, they will strike. Among other demands are to be promoted, to get medical insurance, to provide jobs for medical interns, to be paid for the cost of higher studies, study leaves and a pension from the government. The union has given the government an ultimatum that if over a thousand medical interns will not be hired, they will down their tools, criticizing the Ministry of Health for refusing to absorb the medics and denying Kenyans quality medical services. There are a few people sitting in Treasury wondering that, why are you paying interns? Why can't they just work for free? Let them know that all interns, all cadres of interns, are the backbone upon which the healthcare of this nation run. If the demands are not met, Kenyans will be the ones who will be hurt because all over the country, public hospitals, which are the backbone in the provision of health services in the country, will stop the provision of those important and urgent services. Husna Mohamed, KT News. Moving on, President William Ruto and United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Saturday had a phone conversation over the deployment of Kenyan police officers to 